Hello everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you how to work on the footwork, open stance position for the forehand. Now, I have a series of spot again set up on the floor where Shalini will run to, but she doesn't exactly, you don't, do not necessarily have to go exactly to the exact spot. It's just a marker because remember, you can be hitting a ball from anywhere on the court. So Shalini goes and she's moving her feet, open stance the entire time. She's going to go forward, she's going to back up, set up again, open stance. When you're doing these exercises with a memory board, you should do them in slow motion, pretty much exactly the way that Shalini is doing them. The idea is that the ball is not actually moving, or is it moving because the ball is rotating, but you have time to think about it so that you can automate it make it absolutely automated to your body. So let's take a look at the feet, right? So look at the, how she moves her feet. She goes into the open stance position. She does her swing sideways. Come back again. I want to see her do a stroke now from every spot that she goes to. Ready? Go. So she goes forward, sets up, and she does the same thing that she just did with the memory board, right? The memory board is the guide. It's what teaches the racket exactly what to do. She goes, another forehand right here, right? She turns, drops the racket, beautiful. She goes back to the memory board. She does it. Comes back here, she does another forehand, sets up her feet, right? Beautiful. Again, she goes to the memory board. This is exactly how you should do this. You can set up, by the way, as many different spots as you like. And if you have a particular spot that you like to do, you can do that also. Remember while we're here that you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, automatedtennislessons.com, and that you could be doing this exercise at home, in your backyard, in front of your garage, in your kitchen like I do. If you want to be good at tennis, you're going to have to work hard. And this is extremely important to be able to do this. I want you to give me now, Shalini, five more. Ready? Go. Two. Beautiful. Give me one more from there. And then I want you to, to get out of the ball machine, go to one of the spots. Ready? Go. Go. Come on. Here we go. Beautiful. Now go to one of the spots and right there I want you to give me five forehands in a row. Ready? Go. One, two, three. This time I want you to stop at the point of impact. Go ahead. Rack it back. Okay. So here's her point of impact. I still need to work a little bit more on this with her automation. And this is something that you really want to pay attention to. Go back again and bring, and bring the point of impact again. Go ahead. Here we go. Okay, so actually for me, her point of impact should be a little uh, further out. I do like the fact, however, that her racket face, the racket head is down the way it should be because from there it will go up, finish it, good. Do it one more time, three times. Remember guys, this is JL from autotennis.com. I hope this has been helpful to you.